This is a message from the dragons. Philip is connected to the dragon family. Uh, Philip goes into the center of the earth, cleanses out the earth's core energies. I just see him connecting to Yeshua. In some reality, Phil, you know, Yeshua was uh, Philip's uh, brother, but also Philip has been similar to Yeshua in a different way, you know, like a Jesus type of person, uh, somewhere in another reality. But you can say from a dragon's perspective, you know, like a, as he already knows, like a very powerful sorcerer. Uh, let's see. So Philip is very, uh, very connected to the land, like the dirt. Not to say that Philip is dirt or anything, but he's he's connected to the earth, basically. The soil is the earth. Not that you know, it's just you know, it's part of growth, right? So he just he's part of a lot of growth of a lot of different, you know, dragon energies. I would say alien species too. Like I know it sounds strange, but it's like he's been like the the dirt of other planets. Like they like some planets don't like some beings don't want nothing to do with them, but he's the, the he's the Earth of that planet, the consciousness of it, which is quite different. Uh, so you can call it the Earth, yeah, just or just instead of calling it the dirt, you know, call it Earth, you know, whatever. But he connects the Earth's vibration. I mean, he can turn it to gold. Uh, you can do a highly uh, he changes the frequencies of people uh, here just by their everyday life because he works through the earth, by, you know, so it works through the ground basically. So it does transform a lot. Yeah, he's not the crystals in the ground that are hidden or not seen in our reality. Of course, he is a crystal grid himself, and the he's like a crystal grid, a crystal uh, cave. Actually, I see them in uh, South America. I don't know if they have crystal great caves in. Uh, I don't know if they have crystal caves in uh, South. Um, I see South America. There are probably other places, but there's also dragon ca caverns. Is of course very connected to. I believe that's more South Africa. There's probably other places along with that. Um, yeah, uh, one, you know, England, of course. Uh, but his energy is to bring a, a youth vibration to, to other beings, to help them stay young throughout their difficult lives. So he's just, so part of his healing is just removing, you know, he doesn't always have to remove a lot, just enough where they, a person can extend their lifespan if they necessarily need to. He's part of all basically ex expanding one's uh, experiences here on different levels. So over time it'll make uh, more sense. But. What is Ivan? Is your questions? Uh, Philip had a vision. It was short because his son woke up, woke him up so he couldn't get all the information that was meant to be though basically he was taken to a planet and shown three cubes it feels like a Pleiadian energy it could be wrong but it feels it feels more like the like featured DNA it also has ancient knowledge within it but it's also about rejuvenation body rejuvenation it is and he does healing so I mean, you see those cubes are like his cubes. You know, it feels like they're floating, like one's above the head, one's on the right, one's on the left of him. Like the one above it is above him, you know, above his, yeah, just basically it's hovering over his head, is what I see. And yeah, he works multi dimensional, of course. And it just helps them to tune into other people. Uh, it helps them connect to the 
the higher realms.